Today we're going to be reviewing one of the highest rated scooters on Amazon, the Segway 9 bot Max. So let's see if $800 is really worth the 9 bot Max. I had the scooter for about one year already and all I could say about it is that it's incredibly smooth and it's 100% worth the $800 price point. There was about 20 PSI when I first uh, got the scooter and then I had to use the pump to bring it up between 30 and 40 for the smooth ride. These tires can take up a puncture up to six millimeters, which is pretty good since you won't have to check them that much. The stem on this specific scooter is actually pretty high, which is not bad, but it's way comfortable driving than the other ones. My longest trip so far was like 40 through 39 miles, which had 3% left when I came home. And I have around 1,700 miles on the scooter, which is pretty far. This scooter has an option of three modes, eco, drive, and sport, sport being the fastest, and you could keep changing them by double clicking the center button right here. And there's also a light by clicking the button once. This scooter also comes with many other extra features like a fast charger built into the scooter and another extra extra fast charger if you ever want one. And this is the charging cable. Notice how there's no brick, so it's easy to carry around and use. The scooter deck is actually 7 inches wide, so it's pretty comfortable for anyone and for long trips. The motor of the scooter is in the back, which just makes the ride way more comfortable. On, on the left of that, there's a built-in kickstand, and on the left of that, there's actually a uh, reflector and a light. Eco is 0 through 10 miles per hour, which is pretty good. Drive is almost the same thing, a little faster and good for beginners, but 24 miles per hour is for the people who really want to have fun and really use their scooter to the max. This scooter also comes with an app and you can customize it a lot by turning on the red light if you want it on whenever you drive or cruise control. That is an option for instead of holding the throttle down, you can actually press it down for three seconds at a certain speed and it will remain constant with that speed. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. This is probably the longest video I ever edited and made.